Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we're going to be doing Red Best 12. This is a just quintessential Irish, Irish whiskey. whiskey. Yep. Everything across the board, pots, the, the way they do to be defined as an Irish whiskey, mm -hmm. it is referred to as single pot still. So they are, it is a See, blend mm -hmm. of, uh, well, this, this particular one's a 50-50 blend, but it's malted and mm -hmm. unmalted mm -hmm. barley. And then it is not, it's, you know, stilled in the big copper pot stills, and then they run it three times. So that's kind of one of the differences between Scotch and Irish. Mm -hmm. Scotches tend to do it two, Irish do it three. Um, unique to Ireland. They're very just, unique distilling process. And it has to be in, uh, similar to bourbon. Mm -hmm. It has to be distilled in America. This, to be, can, you know, Irish. It has to be distilled in Ireland, Ireland, even if they follow all the same rules. So, but so, this is Red Breast, the 12 year. Distillery's been around for what, over 200 years? Yeah, been they've been around. around. This one, a little history on it. This one was called Pure yep. Pot Still until. What, the early 2000s, I think? 2010? 2010. That's 2010. Kind of early. Kind of early. Yeah. Early 2000s. Well, 2020 was so long of a year that it feels like a long time ago. That, the, uh, the, the TTB. Yeah. The alcohol Tax and Tobacco. No, Alcohol Tobacco Tax Bureau. Something like Something that. Something along those lines. Did not like pure. Yes. So then it got changed to the single... Single yeah. pot still. Single pot still. Not so. pure pot still. Outside of the 12 year, we know it's 50 50, malted mm -hmm. and unmalted barley. That's another thing. A lot of times, single bar, like the, you'll get the, the single malts. Malt. It's all malted barley in Ireland and in Scotland. But for an Irish whiskey, it's a blend of the two. That goes back to the old days when Ireland was controlled by the UK. They were taxed based off the percentage of malted, malted barley mm -hmm. in the whiskey. So they're like, they figured out a way to cheat the Brits. Yeah, cheat the Brits a little <laughs> bit, get rid of some taxes and use some unmalted barley. So kudos to them. They've they've come up with some uh, very interesting processes. This is distilled over in Middleton Distilleries, which has its connections through pretty much. I mean, almost all of Irish whiskeys at one point was produced out of Middleton Distillery. Um, your Jamesons are there, your Green Spots mm -hmm. there, uh, and then in the last, uh, I'm going to say probably around the same time frame, last ten-ish years, more and more distilleries started popping up. Irish whiskeys, I think all of them are just very, very light, light nose. Yeah, eighty proof. It's yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty going to be pretty standard there. I do wonder. Similar to scotches, they have a long line of years, finishes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the standard 12 is finished in the Oloroso sherry cask. But there's there's a whole bunch of different things that Redbreast does for different. wonder if there's a cask string. I'm sure there's one over there. <laughs> good point. That's a really good point. Not here. Wish there was, though. So straight off the nose... You get that kind of standard honey, mm -hmm. malty, grain, vanilla. Uh, little vanilla, slight fruit, but it's it's just pastry. Yeah. <laughs> it's really what it comes down to. A very pastry type note. Obviously, it's going to be a, a pretty easy drink. There's not a lot of burn there, but there is there's a, a li there's a little bit. There's an oak or a pepper or something at the very end of that. Which is a little surprising. It's interesting. A lot of honey and vanilla on, yeah. the, on the on the taste. And a dry finish. Yeah, there's a little bit of a that oak Oakier. tannin y like pull the moisture out. But yeah. This is definitely Different. one you can just sit around and sip on for a yeah. while. It's it's a it is a light drinker. It is it's an easy drinker. It's a very easy drinker. You could just sit on yeah, you could sit and kind of <clears throat> work on this for a little while don't think you need water or a cube or any of that kind of stuff i don't think it would i don't think it would open anything else up and it would it's already li it's light it's already kind of watered watery. down yeah, watery as it is the yeah. palate just does kind of disappear a little bit that does go back we've mentioned that multiple times it, go, it does go back to the fact that we're 
kind of used to drinking 90s, 100s plus, mm -hmm. you know, type whiskeys. So when you get down in that 80 range, it just We're waiting for that punch. And there yeah, is it ain't there. And, I, and I, like I've mentioned before, I've had one cast strength uh, for an Irish whiskey. It's really good, but there still isn't a lot of heat behind it. I don't, okay. I don't know why, but it it tastes so sweet. Really, good. yeah, probably. Yeah, it was it, it, Jameson. Jameson. I mean, it was. Yeah, and what's the, it, and it's, it was the 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 black barrel. Okay, so you're gonna get a little vanilla mm -hmm. char from yeah. yeah. Okay, but no, I'd be interested to see if they had this in a cast drink. This, you know, it's gonna be something I want to keep an eye out for. Is a red breast. Any from the line, but more in that cash strength range, because mm -hmm. I, I do think it, it just comes through a little, I want to say like thin, is like kind of the right word. That's the adjective that I, I'm, it just comes through a little thin because it doesn't have. I think they've all got a good flavor profile, yeah. just one a little bit, a little bit more, more, more yep. behind it. There's definitely a market here for that got a whole lot of oil mm -hmm. there's no question about that and you can kind of feel it kind of coat your tongue as soon as you take mm -hmm. a sip of it a whole lot of oil that comes through but relatively simple too yep not a lot of layers it hasn't changed the more times i've taken a sip and taken a smell and honey malty vanilla e vanilla e. E. <laughs> those are the two main flavors that i get out yeah there's a little bit of a Maybe a, a, a light fruit uh, of some sort, but or a, a jam of some sort, something along those lines. But the, and then there is that just touch of a spice at the very end. I don't know what that. It's not a. I can't say it's a specific spice, but there's a little, a little something at the very end, which is nice. It actually mm -hmm. like adds to the body of the whiskey. Yeah, there's just a touch of heat that that, that initial part of the swallow. There's just a little, which is odd. Yeah, Irish whiskey, yeah. But just a little bit. It's very good. I really do like Red Breast mm -hmm. and, and most of the ones in the lines. I'd still probably put Green Spot over <laughs> that. Probably would put Teeling over that. And Green Spot's at Middleton. Yep. Teeling's not. But it just, I like them a little bit better. There's a little bit more nuance. And the Teeling's usually in the 90s. It's also good. Yeah. <laughs> that's High, a little higher proof helps. That helps. I really that's and that's the kicker. If this were at ninety something, I really think this would be right up there with for Irish whiskeys. But it, it kind of comes down just a little bit because it it just falls a little flat. Again, it'd be really interesting to go over there, go to their tasting room, and see the variations that they've got that we just don't have access to here. Yeah. Well, like you said, that Jameson one. It, yeah, it's not it, available here. Didn't get bought in the states. It got <laughs> no. bought. It, it over was purchased over there and over there so put in a suitcase and brought home i'm finding myself i've got plenty of bourbons and whiskeys now i've kind of started trying to find more irish whiskeys yep. and scotches to add yep. to the cart kind of change it up have a, a wider range of flavor profiles mm -hmm. that's yeah totally agree um I actually <laughs> shuffled shuffled around got a little bit more room in here so <laughs> yeah I, I gotta make a Gotta make a run at some point too. It Availability, is pretty easy to find. Yeah. It's a little bit more expensive for an Irish whiskey, but at a twelve-year age statement, it makes sense. It's sixty-ish, mm -hmm. sixty to sixty-five. I think sixty-three is what I spent for this. You know, it's it's in the right. You know, that makes sense that mm -hmm. for that that for kind that of an age, an age statement on there. I think it's a good whiskey. I think it's it's worth showing up with a. 12 year age whiskey, uh, I think says something versus showing up with like a bottle of Jameson. You know what I mean? Like it's going to have a little bit more of a statement, a little bit more of a nuance to it, but it's still a pretty, you know, a very solid drink that you could go to pretty regularly and just kind of sip on. This is definitely one of the things that would cater to a lot of people if you showed up at a party. Yeah, I think I think everybody, a lot of people would give yep. it, at least give it a shot and be like, oh, I, I like that. Or it might be a know. one and done. Yeah, but I I would go back for another pour. Absolutely. Again, it's a pretty pretty easy drinker. And it's nice to change up the uh, the flavor profile. Right. Yeah. Not get punched by a overproofed bourbon. A barrel or, proof or yeah. A, you kind of it's nice to have a little a Booker's. Yeah, a little drop back, <laughs> a little palate cleanser. <laughs> It's really sad that you're saying an 80 proof whiskey is a palate <laughs> cleanser, but the sorbet. You get the idea. <laughs>
So, no, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. No, I don't think so. I think it's it's a very solid, very solid bottle and, and totally worth uh, the experiment if you see it. So, well, I'll have to keep my eyes open for some other yeah. red breasts. Yeah, absolutely. For the show and for my bar cart. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you joining this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we encourage you to swipe that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a new video, and leave us a comment. You know, what are your thoughts on any of the Red Breast lineup or any of your Irish whiskeys? Like, what, what's your go-to? Like I said, the Teeling and the Green Spot. Probably go above those guys, but the is close. <laughs> well, we appreciate you joining. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.